Okay, three consecutive integers have a sum of negative 84. So there's a couple ways of doing these series. You can use algebra and say, well, we have a sum of three numbers and they're consecutive. So x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2. And what we're doing here is x stands for the first integer. The next greater integer is, if they're consecutive, is x plus 1. The number after that is 1 greater than this term, which was x plus 1, so it has to be x plus 2. So we can just set that up, and that equals negative 84. And here this equals 3x plus 3 equals negative 84. And you end up getting 3x equals negative 87. Do not despair. There is these numbers can be divided by 3. 8 plus 7 is 15. So you know, just divide by 3, and you're going to get x is equal to negative 29. Now, here's the tricky part. In quantity a or in column a, it says the least of the three integers. So least. And in column b, it says negative 28. So people think, OK, well, if I know x is negative 29, therefore, the other integers are about negative 28 and negative 27. So clearly, this is the least one, right? But wait a second, it's not, because in the negative world, the more neg the greater the number is, the less it is. That is, negative 29 is less than negative 27. So the least possible number is negative 29. And so therefore, the answer is B.